What is good everyone, Chris here from Slips and Tips back for another NBA video. In this video I'm going to talk to you guys about my 5 favourite picks for the NBA slate today. This is for the Thursday morning game for me here in Australia, or the Wednesday night games if you're from the States and that side of the world. Now we nearly swept the board yesterday, we just needed Fox for the sweep, but he got smashed at home as the Mavericks came and absolutely blew them out, so he didn't cover his PRA line, but we went 3 out of 4 on the straight picks, and everything else hit. Telegram exclusive, Telegram added parlay, and then the two ladder challenges which I'll talk about as well for this in this video for the NBA. So yeah, there's a lot to talk about guys, five picks, two ladder challenges, but I'm really happy with yesterday. It was a green day. Let's probably bring that momentum into today. I've got a good feeling with this slate. It's a massive slate. So yeah, I really went to the lab to find these picks for you guys. I'm not going to waste any time, guys. If you're new here, Instagram, Telegram, it's free. Check the link in my description. Go and show some love. I do this all for free. All I ask is for your support on social media. Go and check me out, Instagram, Telegram, YouTube. That's where it's at right now for slips and tips. But let's talk about the NBA, guys. Let's talk about my first pick, my first player that I like. It's Pascal Siakam to make one three. Just one plus three. That's where I'm taking him. He's done this in three of his last four games and four of his last five games versus the Bull. He's, the Bulls, he's had at least one plus made three. Now, he's also hit this in 17 of his last 20 away games, which is great because he's on the road. But for me, the reason why I like this the most is because the matchup. The Bulls are 29th in threes made against and 30th, which is dead last in threes attempted against. So matchup wise, I think he's great. I think he's going to get at least one. He usually has three, two, four attempts, you know, but usually three on average. So yeah, we just need one out of those three attempts. I'll take it. This is a great, great game for him and the pace is hopefully high scoring. So that's why I like Siakam for one plus made three. Now, for my next pick, guys, Jalen Brunson, over 6.5 assists. He's done this in three of his last four games and five of his last seven games versus the Raptors, averaging 6.8 assists per game across that spread, which is great. Now, the Raptors are 26 in assists again. So again, I'm looking at this line and saying, yep, line-wise, I think it's fair. The number's right where it should be. But he's looking at a team who are 26 in assist against. This Raptors team should get absolutely handled by the Knicks. I think he's going to have no problem. And yeah, I just think in a sense of assist-wise, he's had 13.3 potential assists over his last four games. So we need people like Hardenstein, DiVincenzo, obviously um, Hart to make their buckets because, yeah, he's going to be running the floor. And he's projected to play 30 plus, 35 sorry minutes. Obviously, if there's no blowout, which we want to account for, hopefully there isn't one. I like him for 6.5. Either way, I think he can get it done. Now, for my third pick, guys, I'm going with Norman Powell from the Clippers, over 13.5 points. He's hit this in four games straight, averaging 17.2 points per game across that spread. He's also hit this in five games straight against Philly, who he clearly loves versing, averaging 19.2 points per game across that five-game spread where he's versed Philly. Now, he's on the road here. The Clippers on the road. He's covered this in nine of his last 12 away games, which I think is fine. And I also like the fact that Westbrook is back. I think this is going to be a good thing for him. I mean, he's got Harden and Westbrook hopefully feeding him dimes all game. So yeah, 13.5 points. I think he can get it done. We need him to make his threes. That's the main thing. Now, for my next bet, guys, I'm going with Devin Booker over 5.5 assists. He's hit this in six of his last eight games and seven of his last eight games versus the Nuggets as well, averaging 6.8 assists per game against them in that spread, which is pretty good considering how good the Nuggets are assist-wise against. Now, he's also hit this in five of his last six away games, averaging 7.4 assists per game, and he's projected to play 37 minutes here in what should be a really competitive game. When the Suns and Nuggets meet, meet it's always a good game. So yeah, that's why I'm really liking Devin Booker over 5.5 assists. I would have thought this line would have jumped up to 6.5. So as soon as I saw it at 5.5 and I saw the research, I saw the stats and data, I'm like, yep, I'm taking it there. He's usually got a great history in game matchup against the Nuggets as well. I know how good they are. I'm fully taking that into account. They're at home, but I look at Devin Booker's history against them and just, yeah, he just loves versing them. So for me, I like it at 5.5. I think that's a short line. That's where the bookie said it. So that's why I'm taking the over. Now for my last straight pick, let's talk about LeBron James, one plus block. He's done this in three of his last four games and six of his last seven away games. He's had at least one plus block. Now he's up against the Grizzlies. Once again, great matchup. They're 29th in blocks against. So you can see why I like this play. Now yesterday he he rested in what was a massive win for the Lakers. It was double OT. So I think hopefully he comes back and plays. Now he's listed as game time decision. But if you know NBA, if you know the Lakers, him and AD are always listed as game time decision. Yesterday he actually didn't play. 
but I think he's going to play today. So that's why I really like this player because blocks are usually based on effort. I think he's going to go out and show that effort. The boys had a massive win for him yesterday. He was there watching that game. It was an epic game. I watched it. And yeah, I just think it's now going to be his turn to step up and say, yep, I'm here to bring the energy. And that's why one plus block is very doable in my opinion. So yeah, I like LeBron James to have one plus block against the Grizzlies who are nearly dead last in blocks against. I think it's great value. I'll take it. So those are my five picks, guys. Obviously, the goal is to sweep. I'll say this all the time in my write-ups, but if you're new here, I usually put a couple of units on each single play and then about one or two units on the parlay altogether. My goal is to sweep and my goal is to hit every single tip I put out. I want to be extremely sharp. I want to find lines either over or under where I think the bookies have set it either too high or too short. And I want to share that information with you guys because that's literally how I punt and that's where I put my own units on. So that's the goal. We want to sweep or in this case, worst case scenario, go four out of five. That'll be also a green positive day. Now let's jump from the straight picks to the ladder challenge. We're going to do this in one video, so sorry if it's a bit longer than usual. With my ladder challenges, I've got them on screen here. I'll pop it down below right here. But I'm going to talk about it very quickly in a sense of it's just a highlight and a reason why I like these plays. Because ladder challenges is only 2x odds. And if you're new here, guys, the goal is to hit uh, 10 2x flips in a row. From $10, it'll get you to 10 grand. That's the goal, right? Now, for the first one, guys, yesterday we hit. This is now on day three. This is now turning $40 into $80. Let's talk about the first leg, guys. I'm going with Wendell Carter Jr., six plus rebounds. He's covered this in 16 of his last 20 games and eight of his last uh, 10 home games, which is super important. And that's why I like him for six plus. His line is set to 7.5. I actually really like that as well as a straight pick, but obviously six plus is way better for the sake of our ladder. So hopefully he gets it done. Next, Tyrese, Ma Tyrese Maxi, two plus made threes. He hit this in 26 of his last 30 home games and all four recent meetings against the Clippers, he's covered this line in his last four. So that's great. I think he's going to actually get three or four made threes. So two plus, once again, very doable, but I like that line as well. Next one is another three, Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Grizzlies to make one plus made three. He's done this in 14 of his last 15 games versus the Lakers covering this line and 27 of his last 30 games in general, he's made at least one plus made three. Now the Lakers are 28th in threes made against, so great matchup for him. I don't think the Grizzlies can get a win here, but I think they can at least put up a fight and he's the main man as well. So yeah, I think he can get one plus made three, hopefully done by halftime, no sweat. Now, for this particular ladder, the last leg is the Nuggets plus 8.5 handicaps. If you don't know what that means, we're giving them a head start of 8.5 points. By the time the game ends, we need them to either cover that. If they win, which they should because they're favorites, this line and those points didn't really matter at all because they ended up winning. So it's going to be a tick. Now, they've covered this in 10 games straight. This is also hit in 12 of the last 15 meetings between these two teams. And the Nuggets are heavy favorites at home. So giving them a handicap is just an extra head start. I really like them to win anyway. So that's why I'm going with that last leg for that ladder. Now, I've got two ladders, guys, because I'm running two at the same time. This one's for day two. Once again, I'll put it right here on the screen so you guys can see it. But let's talk about it one by one. The main leg here is Paul George to have one plus block. This is the main one. If this hits, I'm very confident about the others. But for Paul George, he's, hit, he's had one plus block in seven games straight. He's also hit this in five of his last five away games. And Philly are 27th in blocks against. So you can see why I'm adding him here as our ladder. I think he's going to get one block. Once again, based on effort, similar speech with I gave LeBron. I think PG can go out and get a block, hopefully by halftime. No sweat. We'll see how we go. Now, the next leg, I'm taking the Hawks to win or the money line head to head. Now, they're playing at home. Portland have lost their last seven games in a row. And DeJounte Murray is listed as game time decision. So he might not play. But honestly, even if he doesn't, I don't think this is a problem at all. I think the Hawks are still a way better team. And no Anthony Simons for me for Portland. That's the main reason why I think they're short favorites here. I like them to win. And Simons is the main guy. A Aiden is actually game time decision as well. So there's a chance he doesn't play either. So yeah, I think Hawks will win and win very well. Last leg, Rudy Gobert, A plus rebounds. He's hit this in 18 games straight. I mean, I don't need to explain this, guys. If you know, you know. He's a beast. Now, he's averaged 13.5 rebounds against the Pistons over his last four recent meetings as well. So if you need another reason to take A-plus rebounds for Rudy Gobert, I think there you go. I'm loving it as well. But the main leg here is poor George 1-plus block. So those are my picks, guys. Five straight picks. Like I say, I put a couple units on each and the one unit on the parlay altogether, plus my two ladder challenges. I hope it's another green day. I hope we sweep. And yeah, let's keep the momentum going, guys. Thanks for the support as always. Hope you guys like the video. Let's get them ticks.